The countdown's on for the Royal Victoria Marathon, which is becoming as popular as Turkey at Thanksgiving. And it wouldn't be possible without hundreds of volunteers. Uh, over 800 volunteers that are involved in putting on this event, uh, welcoming people, giving them their, their nutrition out on the, on the course at all of the aid stations, and making sure they run the right way. But it's not just on your mark, get set, go. It's also on your market set give. The Royal Victoria Marathon's also a big fundraiser, and this year 18 different nonprofits will benefit from the Czech Charity Pledge Program, which has raised more than $2.35 million since 2005. One of those charities is Fast and Female, which is on a mission to empower girls aged 8 to 14 through sport and physical activity. So dropout rate for women and especially girls in sport post high school um, is actually really, really high. And being able to retain and create spaces for women and girls in sport that are safe, that are accessible um, and that feel comfortable to be in is, is hard to find. So we've created that space. From building positive sport experiences to building homes for working families. This ribbon cutting is more than just opening a door. Which is what pledge partner Habitat for Humanity Victoria is doing with affordable homeownership. Habitat is the only charity or nonprofit that works towards helping people with affordable home ownership. Um, and so we're really trying to push that forward with the councils and the folks that make these decisions to help us move more quickly to get these things built faster. Should we go check it out? Yes. The Starfish Canada, a national charity that works to empower young people to have a more meaningful voice in decision making, is another marathon charity. What we know from our decade of change making with young people is that they can be influential, they can impact decisions and they can have really incredible ideas that are for the better of the entire community. That's what the Victoria Hospitals Foundation is also doing by raising money for much needed medical equipment. So many people don't actually know that 40% of the hospital equipment is actually funded by donors. So our donors and community members play a huge role in how we support healthcare in our hospitals. Crohn's and Colitis Canada, which helps raise money and awareness about these debilitating diseases, also relies on donations. It creates all these funding opportunities so that companies can create new drugs, so there can be new research projects to find you know, other ways as well for people to feel better. So as runners pound the pavement this fall, they're also making a difference. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.